Hello there and welcome to BitGlen. This is my cryptocurrency journey that I've been on for the last sort of three months and obviously I'm trying to document every step of the way as I go along so by all means I'm not an expert but I'm learning as I go along and I invite you to join that journey. Um, if you feel like you want to follow my cryptocurrency journey please click the subscribe button down below or the little link here. Um, also give this video a thumbs up because it helps the video somehow on YouTube and um, as people know, my main investments at the minute have been Envian, Hashflare. I also invested in a ICO called Spective, and I've got some small amount of Verge somewhere, but it's like it's good. it's about twenty dollars worth now. But that's it, really, and they're the things that I've been really focusing on, just because I feel like there's so much out there, and I can only concentrate on one thing at a time. So um, today we're going to talk about those main things. And uh, let's get into it. So let's get rid of my big fat head. Um, and we are going to go to, we're going to start off with the markets. Why not? So I actually said yesterday, um, looks like a good day for the markets. Um, you know, it looks like it's quite buoyant, you know, going up. And I was really hoping, fingers crossed, that Bitcoin would go over the 9K mark. But it... Um, it's been really hovering between 8.6 and 8.7, and it's been doing that now for about two days. But that's good. You know, it's good that it's leveled out. Um, we don't want to see massive drops again like we did last week. Um, Ethereum pretty much is 10% of whatever Bitcoin is. If Bitcoin goes up 2%, Ethereum goes up 2%. If Bitcoin goes down 2%, Ethereum goes down 2%. They haven't really gone away from each other uh, in terms of price. Uh, Ripple's gone back over to the $1 mark now, which is good for Ripple, but although it's gone down a bit today. Bitcoin Cash, that had a massive rise last week, so that sort of was heading towards where it was at before, like all the dips and that happened, um, which is odd because I've, why would that one go up and you know Bitcoin and Ethereum not go up to their previous level? So the altcoins seem to be pulling ahead at the minute, especially for the last week or so. Uh, Litecoin went up to $1 at 100, was it 170 at one point, um, but it's sort of hovering around 160 Neo's gone up quite a bit, uh, almost up to levels it was at before. And then the other one that's gone up recently is Ethereum Classic. So I noticed it was up yesterday, I noticed it was up this morning, and even still now it's up. And According to, I was watching Crypto Daily, um, and if you don't watch him, I recommend that you go and subscribe to his channel. Um, he was uh, pointing out that apparently there's going to be a fork of the Ethereum Classic blockchain, um, and for every one Ethereum Classic to uh, coin that you own, you're going to get this new one. can't remember the name of it. Um, I'm, I'm still not too interested in it. At the minute, but if you're looking at a way of get doubling the amount of coins that you own, uh, that's a great way at the minute, and that that seems to be why the price is going up. So that seems to be the big mover and shaker. I did point out the other day about um, what was it like U Cash or something like that, and then the other one was E Coin. They seem to be up like seven eight hundred percent, but I believe they've. Let's see if they're even on it still. Oh, U Cash is the biggest loss today, and this is what I was talking about. So. When I did my video, I think it was either a day or two days ago, I said be careful with these coins that just spike up in price. Obviously, they're like a pump and dump coin. Um, unless they've had some really sort of new technical advancements or you know some sort of info that's come out that's made it seem a lot more valuable, generally they're people pumping the price up and then obviously coordinating selling all their tokens so then the price just drops off a cliff. So be careful with that. I did say that that would probably be one of the biggest losses, and I was right. Bow! Score for Bitglen. Um, so that's it, really. That's the markets done. So I, I'm not actually in a position to invest at the minute, which is a shame. I really wish I bought some more Bitcoin when it was heading down to the 6,000 mark. I really, really wish I could. Would have helped me get to my goal of achieving one whole Bitcoin. But never mind. Never mind. Um, I'm sure another dip will come another time when I'm a bit more well off, hopefully. My uh, investment that I've got, as I've mentioned, is Hashflare. So I can confirm, because I was wondering why I couldn't withdraw. 
And I did say, oh, you know, I've read through the terms and conditions. And a lot of people, again, were messaging me saying, oh, you dickhead, it's because you need 500 minimum US dollars. It's nothing to do with US dollars. It's this uh, minimum amount, which I hope one day they lower. It would, because a lot of people messaged me saying, Glenn, I've only got one terahash. I've only got nine terahashes. You know, for me to get 0.05 of a Bitcoin would take them so long to get there. So really, they're, they're, goal then is either one to reinvest until they are achieving a decent amount each day or to just ride it ride their contract out until it finishes and i believe with hash flare this is what i've read over the last few days when your contract comes to an end even if you haven't hit that 0.05 of a bitcoin you can withdraw whatever available funds are there so you'd have to wait out the whole year that's my understanding of it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below. But the only thing I could notice why they would stop me from withdrawing is that uh, when someone uses your referral code, if they pay by credit card, um, they put your account on hold for 72 hours. And obviously I had someone use my referral link. Um, I can confirm that that is definitely the case because... Today, I was really excited about making this video, but I've been with the wife and kids today, and we made pancakes, because in the UK, it's pancake day, um, so I've been doing that all evening, and then they've just gone to bed, so I thought, right, I'm going to finally make this video of me making my first withdrawal, because I checked my account midday, and, I, and I've got proof here, um, although it's not the best photo, I took a screenshot quickly, and you can see here that this was at half nine. Um, it's come up a little face ID, but this is how much Bitcoin I had, 0 0.060. And you can see there that the withdrawal button's actually colored in blue. Um, so I had the option to click the withdrawal, but all day I decided not to because I promised I would video it and it was on my phone. So I couldn't, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it justice. So I didn't do it. Now in the last, it's now nine, whatever, it's 10 o'clock. You can see now that my balance is 0.063. So I thought, oh, why has that jumped up massively? Oh, someone's used my referral link. So I've gone here and I've had 21. Now, if you watched my video the other day, you'll see that I had 19. So two people have used my referral link today. Um, they've gone on and bought some more um, Terahash using my link. Again, thank you so much to whoever that is. I really appreciate it. And I don't mean when I make these comments about, oh, I can't make a withdrawal, I don't mean to sound unappreciative or as if it's a nuisance. It's not, because to me, really, I'm waiting for the price of Bitcoin to go up. And I was even talking to one of my best friend, Nathan, and I said, well, Nathan, what should I do? Should I withdraw the Bitcoin when it's at 8,300? Or should I just wait a couple of weeks and it'll go up anyway? So Apart from the fact that I want to do this video to show you guys how to do a withdrawal on Hashflare, other than that, I'm not too fussed about it staying in there for a little while. So if I have to wait another three days, and obviously I've gained more Bitcoin, you know, I'm over the moon about that. So thank you so much to all them people. I really don't want to sound like I'm unappreciative. But what obviously that means is I haven't been able to do this video, and a few people have messaged me on my YouTube channel. Glenn, have you been able to do the withdrawal today? I want to know. I want an update because um, I'm looking to invest, you know, and I've said, no, I haven't. Um, and unfortunately, I was going to finally do that video for you today, but someone else has used my referral link, so now I have to wait another three days. So today is today is Tuesday, the 13th of February, Valentine's Day tomorrow, another holiday we have in the UK. Um, so I'm going to have to wait until Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to have to wait till Friday before I can make that video for you guys. And that's if no one else uses my link. So um, if my channel keeps growing and I'm getting more and more people watch my videos and they're using my referral link, I may have to... No, I, don't want, I don't want to do that, but I may have to um, disable my link so no one can use it for three days and then I'll make the withdrawal. But to be honest, you know, it's the way that it's going, it's getting... It's getting close now. I'm thinking, well, should I just leave it in there? Give it another, what, three weeks? And instead of withdrawing 0.06, I'll be getting very close to having 0.1, which is 10% of a Bitcoin, which is 10% of my way to my goal of owning one whole Bitcoin one day. Um, 
So I don't know, I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you think I should do in this situation with the current price of Bitcoin being at eight, um, what was it, eight seven now at the minute? Um, top 100, uh, 8685. Are we going to be over nine grand? Are we going to see 10 grand within the next couple of weeks? I'll come on to that in a second, what I've seen a lot of people mention. Sorry, this might be a long video today. I've got a lot to cover today. Um, so that's my Hashflare account. Uh, while we're on the topic of Hashflare, everyone received an email today that signed up to Hashflare website. Um, not that. Where's my emails gone? Not that. I've lost it. Here we go. So they sent out a thing saying Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I think people in America have Valentine's Day, do you? Uh, in the UK, it's a day where we send flowers and hearts to our missus and send secret cards. Anyway, they're saying, uh, send Valentine's Day, it's just around the corner, it's time to choose presents for the ones you love, blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the real bit that we're excited about. Uh, first, the latest trends in crypto and hardware market allow us to decrease the script contract price by over 40%. That means the new contract price will be just $4.20 for one mega hash. Now, I'm not too sure what the script price was before, so maybe someone can message me or do some sort of screenshot or something. Um, I can't remember what it was before. I can't remember it being, you know, 6 or $8. So I don't know what that means by that because um, that sounds quite expensive as it is. I can't imagine it being more than that, but who knows? I might be wrong. Uh, this is the good bit though, uh, the day of friendship also brings a long anticipated cut of prices. Now I assume this is because the price of Bitcoin has gone down and difficulty has gone up and a lot of people are saying Hashflare is not as profitable as it was two months ago so they're not reinvesting so therefore Hashflare are going to take a knock. But they're saying from February the 13th to February the 18th, so for the next five days, so that's as of right now, you have a chance to get all the contracts with a neat 10% discount during this period using this code here, which I'll try and copy into the description below. But if you click my link, um, I think when you sign up, um, it, I think if you just go to Hashflare anyway, um, it's there anyway. The code is promo code, so as long as you copy and paste that. But I'll put it in the description in case you want to copy and paste it from there, because I don't know if you can with that. No, you can't. So if you use that code, you'll get ten percent off. Now that means obviously these contracts are now profitable, especially if you're a big spender, because you're going to be saving, you know, sort of twenty dollars each terahash or something that you're going to be getting. Um, so they're saying SHA two five six instead of it being two dollars twenty, it's now two dollars. Uh, Equihash, which obviously if Ethereum goes back up to the price it was at at fourteen hundred dollars per coin. That's going to be a very profitable contract. Uh, ET hash um, is now two dollars. The script one is three dollars <coughs> eighty, which I don't think is that profitable at the minute. The uh, Litecoin one. So yeah, that's good news from Hashflare discount, isn't it? You know, people were buying Hashflare at the price they're at now. So the fact that they're offering ten percent off is just another way of making your uh, reinvestments or your. I believe this code you can use. Um, on anything, not that I'm going to reinvest because obviously I've, I'm at a point now where I can make my first withdrawal, so I won't be. But when you go to do your um, uh, purchase, let's just see if I can get it up here. Uh, redeem code, so you'd have to put the code in there. Um, let's get my where do emails go? There we go. See if it actually takes it off. Because I remember the last time they sent me a discount code, everyone was saying, oh, Glenn, they've all used up already. Um, it's not working. Let's have a look. There you go, $83.60 off. So it's working. Uh, Valentine, that's only for the next five days. So if you are on the fence about should I or shouldn't I get a Hashflare account, um, now's the time to jump in. Um, Oh, it's not letting it come off this. Using that code, um, 
it's not a referral code i don't get anything for it if you use my link down below then i suppose if you're signing up to the website for the very first time i might get something but if i believe you like as i just showed you there even if you've already got an account use that code to buy some more terahash or do your reinvestment you know if you've got this reinvestment on stop it because I've, i assume that's going to reinvest for you at the full price stop the reinvestment then wait maybe two or three days so your bitcoin builds up and then copy and paste that code and buy it using your balance i hope that makes sense that's going to be your most profitable way over the next few days of doing it so um let's see it's up to you guys so that's enough about hash flare anyway so i'm hoping friday i'll be able to make a withdrawal video um, and hopefully the price of bitcoin will go up by the end of the week um a lot of people have been sending me glenn why are you making a withdrawal why are you uh, not reinvesting anymore do you not believe in the platform and if you go if you was to watch my videos back from the beginning uh, you'll know that my plan i you know i wrote a little spreadsheet out of what sort of terra hash i can expect to get um and how long it would take me and i always had in mind always uh, a period where um you know, this is what I thought it would be if the price of Bitcoin was 16000 At the time, it was 20000 and I actually underestimated in case there was a price drop. But obviously, it absolutely crashed, and it's now worth like less than half of what it was at its peak. So these prices are completely way out. The difficulty's gone up. Obviously, I've learned a lot more. I've learned how the fees work. I've learned how uh, the difficulty affects it. So a lot of this spreadsheet is completely way out anyway. But my plan always was to get to a certain amount of terahash and stop and stop reinvesting. That was always the plan. If you go back and watch my old videos, you'll hear me say, I'm going to reinvest until I'm at a decent amount per day uh, of Bitcoin, and then I'm going to let it accumulate. And the plan was to obviously pay back my investment. So I put in myself $1,650 into Hashflare as a website which I actually bought Bitcoin using Coinbase and then transferred it over, so it started straight away. So my plan was always to try and withdraw from this website, 1650 because anything from that point onwards is complete profit. It's completely free money. It's, it's Bitcoin that I'm going to accumulate. And a lot of people say, well, Glenn, just hold on to your money. I actually used a credit card... Um, to buy that uh, Bitcoin through Coinbase because they wouldn't allow UK banks. So I owe money on a credit card. So I'm actually paying interest on that amount of money, which I know you guys will be going, oh, you're so stupid and you shouldn't do that. But at the time, I wanted to get involved and I could see Bitcoin price going up and up and up and up and up and I just wanted to jump in. Should I have waited till now? Maybe. But I feel like I've learned so much and if I can gain some money back, if I can gain... You know, this at the minute, I believe this Bitcoin here is um, probably five hundred dollars worth, based on the current price. To USD, um, you know, five hundred and forty-four dollars. So I've got a third of my original investment just waiting there to be withdrawn. Um, so if I can do this two more times, uh, that's paid what I spent on it and then this is completely free this hasn't cost me anything um, you could say the interest on the credit card it's 0% APR so I'm not worried about that but um, you know I'd, I would love to pay that back that's always been my goal because then I've taken a risk but then I've also paid that risk back in quite a short period of time if the difficulty goes right up or these contracts become non-profitable and Hashflare close my account do you, know, do you know what? I don't care. I got all my money back. I tried. At least I tried. You know, a lot of people sit on the fence with Bitcoin and they don't know where to go and they just don't end up getting involved and the price goes up and up and up and then they think, oh, I can't get into it now because it's now 20 grand. Although it's not that now. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's where I'm at. I've talked about Hashflare quite a lot. So 10% discount using that code. Uh, feel free to use that. Um, and also, uh, you... 
uh, that's it really. It's only up until the 18th of February, so you've only got five days from watching this video, well, depending on when you watched it, as of February the 13th, you've got five days. So, um, Envian, so they've got some good news actually. Uh, they actually seem like they've had a little dig at HB, Hit BTC, so it makes me think maybe this delay with hate, Hit BTC is not all Envian's fault. This is how they've worded it. I think it's a little dig. Let me know what you think. While we are still waiting for Hit BTC to finally start trading, you can purchase Envian tokens at IDEX now as well. IDEX.market and also the token store. So now we've got two different decentralized exchanges that exchange Envian tokens with Ethereum. So you've got two options there now, people, um, rather than just one. Um, still waiting for hit BTC. They did say it would be between the 9th and the 12th. Uh, a lot of people in the Telegram group, which is going really well, actually, I want to say a big thank you to... Uh, all the people. I've, we've got 60 members in Team Bitglen now, the uh, uh, Telegram group. If you want to get involved in that, Telegram is free. I've literally just downloaded it actually from my desktop. So now I've got it on my laptop so I can view it as well as viewing it on my phone. And it's just all light heart minded people, the same as me, all talking about what do you think about Bitcoin price today? And have you heard about this? Have you heard this ICO? So Lots of knowledge to be had there. Not saying none of them are, you know, like, I don't think there's anyone in particular that would openly say, oh, yeah, I'm an expert at this. But it's just a collection of people that are really interested in the space and we're talking to each other on a regular basis. So um, I really enjoy the Telegram and all the guys on there, they've all got a decent amount of banter. If you don't know what banter is, sense of humour. <laughs> uh, so there's a bit of sense of humour in there. No one's being offended so far. Uh, there seems to be no scams. I did have to ban someone the other day because they started posting, oh yeah, click this link and you get 10 times your money back and all that. Uh, so I got rid of them, but um, really happy with the Telegram group. Um, a lot of people saying in there um, that, you know, oh, Envian's dragging their heels and Envian's taking ages. And it's a valid point. And again, what I touched on my video before, I think where Envian have made a mistake is... If I thought I was going to make a video for you guys by the end of this week, it would be better for me to say, right, by Sunday night, I'm going to have a video uploaded of me doing a Bitcoin withdrawal. If I uploaded that video Friday and say, here's my video of my Bitcoin withdrawal from Hashflare, then... People that were waiting for that video, not that, I'm not saying that obviously I'm in demand or anything, but you know, like it, it, it would make people think, oh yeah, he's done what he said he was going to do in the time frame that he said he was going to do. Where Envian have come unstuck, they've actually said, yeah, we will have the video up by Friday, and it's come now it's Sunday and it's not up there, and people are like, why haven't you done that yet? You know, what's going on? It's a scam. It's dodgy. It's you know. So I think that's the only thing maybe they've faltered on. They've probably. Tried doing it with all the best intentions, but haven't been able to. Um, but saying that, they have put it on two decentralized exchanges, uh, so they are available to buy. So at, <laughs> at the minute, you can actually buy off these two exchanges, although one of the links isn't working. Uh, let's click on this one, see if it loads back up. Um, someone in token store they sold their tokens they put the decimal place in the wrong uh, wrong place uh, we did talk about it in this group actually someone put a screenshot of it um no, i can't find it now but uh instead of it being like 0 0.0099 of an ethereum they put the decimal place in the wrong point so someone paid like ten thousand dollars worth of Ethereum for about a thousand tokens, so they paid a hundred dollars per token by accident. Um, most people here seem to be selling them for the price of of about one dollar twenty per token, which is good um, because that means they're selling for more than what they did at the ICO stage. Um, but obviously, we're still waiting, and also on um, token store, you can still buy them off there. Um, 
I believe you can try and sell your tokens for an amount that you're willing to take, and if it never hits that, then it doesn't happen. So I might put, you know, my MVN tokens on there for five thousand dollars worth of Ethereum, see what happens. But I'll probably leave it to be fair because I'm not too clued up with these uh, websites. Uh, so we're still waiting for this hit BTC. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually join another um, uh, exchange. Sorry. Before they actually hit, hit BTC, there was a thing out the other day saying, um, I think one of them has said, hit BTC have now said that the Envian tokens will be available up to the 18th of February. So that's, again, in another five days' time. Um, so this is the Telegram group kicking off, uh, people commenting and that, little did they know they're on my video, <laughs> so hello guys, you alright, um, yeah, so they're the two places you can go, still won't hit BTC, so again, not much has changed in that respect, apart from they have joined this new IDEX today, uh, which is good news if you want more diversity and more availability, some people don't like the token store site, maybe this IDEX market will offer them uh, a, a place where they can buy and sell. So um, that's good news. Yesterday, if you're in the UK, uh, the BBC, which if you go to the BBC iPlayer, which is a um, you know, catch-up service if you're not from the UK, uh, you can actually watch Panorama, and they actually... Uh, done a about a half hour show, um, 30 minute show, for um, who wants to be a Bitcoin millionaire. I would say it was interesting to watch, but it wasn't. For If you're, if you're thinking about getting into Bitcoin and you want to hear sort of two sides, I would say, uh, good side and bad side of Bitcoin, give this show a watch. It's only half hour. A lot of what was said in there, either I already knew or I've watched a lot of YouTube videos already. So, like, they had um, the Wolf of Wall Street guy on there, like, absolutely slating Bitcoin. And I've watched a lot of these videos about what his views are on Bitcoin. They had a few guys like Trace, uh, I can't remember his name now, but they had a guy who's made millions and millions off Bitcoin. Like, he's a Bitcoin billionaire. Um, and I've listened to him in podcasts, and he's very like the other way. He thinks Bitcoin's going to be worth 1.2 million, you know, by this year and that year. And so it was like the two sides, and they were sort of explaining the fundamentals of what Bitcoin is and how it works. But they did take a very sort of negative tone. The way they were presenting it and the way they were talking about it seemed as if, I mean, the guy even said, "Look, I've been interested in Bitcoin for the last five years." Now, if he'd put some money in, he'd be a wealthy man now. So whether he has or not, I don't know. But the way that his program was leading, even the way they sort of presented Bitcoin, um, they showed it. I don't know if I'm allowed to show their content on YouTube, whatever. But they showed a load of people with masks and it made it look very daunting, I suppose, for someone who's like, you know, didn't understand Bitcoin or don't know whether to get into it or not. It's good. Any press is good press, I think. Uh, so there'll probably be a lot of people that will watch that and think, yeah, actually, I'm going to get involved in that. But then there's also a lot of people that probably think, do you know what, I'm not. They went to a mining farm in Iceland, which I believe is Genesis Mining, because it looked pretty much identical to Box Mining videos, where he's gone and visited the uh, mining site. Um, and he was talking about how much electricity it costs and how it's having an effect on the planet. So a lot of stuff about Bitcoin is uh, a scam. And actually on the Telegram group chat that we had, uh, we were all commenting on it as it was happening. And one of the things that made me laugh is uh, they were talking about a coin called OneCoin, which I believe has gone bust now. I think it was a Ponzi scheme. Um, <laughs> and we all started commenting saying, oh my God, I want to get my hands on some OneCoin. Um, this obviously has come and gone before. I don't know, it seems like it's still going. Uh, well, anyway, this thing was a scam. And a lot of people lost money on it. So that's not good news. Obviously, it's not good laughing at people that have lost money. But, you know, like I say, we try and have a bit of banner on there. Um, and uh, it, it was leading you down that path that sort of... They they did mention very quickly, right, Bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are this, this, and this. And there are many versions of them. 
And they said that very quickly, and then it was like, they were mentioning Bitcoin. They were saying like, oh yeah, Bitcoin is this, and this is how Bitcoin's ledger works, and this is a, oh, and one coin is a scam. Da, da, da. Lots of people lost money off it. So they sort of made it seem like Bitcoin and one coin were somehow connected in some way, which would make you believe, oh, I don't want to touch that with a barge pole, because I'm going to get scammed as well. Um, and then they had some lady in it who wants to be a Bitcoin millionaire. I'm not too sure what the point of her being on the show was. She was a nice lady, don't get me wrong, I'm not moaning about the lady at all, but, you know, he was saying, oh yeah, she used to publish books, and now she's invested four to five hundred pounds in Bitcoin when it, at Christmas time, which means she probably bought between the sixteen and 20,000 mark, which means her money now is probably worth anywhere between 200 to 300. So, I, I didn't quite understand... He was sort of making it seem like all these people sitting at home are, are, are losing loads of money on Bitcoin, which they probably did in the last three months, I suppose. Um, uh, you know, it just it, it, it made me feel sorry for the lady. It made me feel like, oh, yeah, you know, like obviously I, I sort of know a bit about, bit about Bitcoin now over the last three or four months. But a lot of people who are watching that at home, especially older people, are probably thinking, oh, no, I'm not doing that. Look, that lady's just lost 200 quid. In three months, you know. Uh, so I don't know. I didn't. I didn't particularly like the show. But if you saw it, please comment down below what your thoughts are on the the panorama of report on Bitcoin. I love watching any material about Bitcoin, whether it's positive or negative. I've always said this in the past. The way I like to do my research is to view the most positive things about it and the most negative things, and then sort of come to a conclusion in the middle, and then I can make my decision going forward. So, anyway, that's worth a watch if you're sort of into Bitcoin. I believe that's it. That is everything I wanted to talk about today. Oh, sorry if this video has gone on too long. Um, I've, I believe I have completely commented back to every single person on YouTube now. Um, I actually took a step back from Telegram today. Uh, I didn't comment much on it because... I wanted to get back to every single person on YouTube, but it is getting to a point now where it's very difficult. And, um, you know, family are saying to me, Dad, you're always on your phone because I'm trying to keep up with everyone. Um, and it's a shame, really, because I, I've i messaged loads of YouTubers before saying, hey, great video, I really like that. What do you think about this? And they've never replied back. And I always thought, I'm not going to be that guy. Um, but it is getting... It just may take me a lot longer to reply, especially if my channel keeps getting bigger and bigger. So I apologise if it's taken me four or five days to reply to you. It, it, it is difficult to try and get back to absolutely everyone. Something that I do want to point out, someone commented on my video six hours ago. Hey Glenn, are you aware of this other account showing some of your videos? Is this legit? Um, so I've clicked on it. I thought, what? Who's going to copy my video? There's me. That's my video. Um, they've literally just, it's got the intro and everything, so they've literally just copy and pasted my video, um, and put it on there, Bitcoin review after two months, hash flare mining profits, so I've gone onto their channel, somehow I'm going to have to report this to YouTube I suppose, they've only got three subscribers, I never thought, I was actually quite honoured, I was like, someone's copying my videos, <laughs> um, that's when you know you've made it. Uh, but the, you can see here they've done it to loads of people. So they've gone around and copied. That's my video there. Uh, they've copied this guy here, this kid, that guy. Um, it seems like it's all hash flare related topics. So I assume what they've done is copy and pasted their videos. So this is three days ago. So I've only done it a few days ago. I assume if I click on this, there's going to be their referral link. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> So they're putting their referral links in. So you may watch this video thinking that you are actually helping, well, his face ain't on there, but you may be thinking you're helping this guy or you may be using that referral link. So say my video, I assume that's going to be their referral link. It's had five views as well. Well, two of them are me actually. Yeah, so there you go. So if I click this referral link now, obviously I'm going to think that I'm helping Bit Glenn out. 
but really I'm not, the money's going to them. So I need to report YouTube for them. Thank you very much, the person that pointed that out. I would have never, ever have found that in a million years. Um, so thank you very much for that, uh, Renee. I'm going to definitely report that to YouTube. Um, and that's it, really. I've replied back to all these people. That's good. The channel, just, just for anyone who's actually interested, some people may not be, you might switch off now. But... I've actually hit my goal of over 4,000 watch that. So thank you very much. You guys, between the lot of you, have sat there and watched me talk over my findings of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for 4,000 hours. So a uh, big thank you to you guys. Um, the only thing I do need to hit now, the only goal I need to hit, I've hit all the others, is to get 1,000 subscribers. So I need 240 subscribers. So if you're new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. If, and this is me asking, you don't have to if you don't want to. I, I don't mean to push this on anyone because I'm not that pushy or a salesperson. If you like my content and you have social media, Facebook, Twitter, please comment, share it on any of your social medias. You may share it with a friend that also finds it interesting. You can go to any video and you can click uh, the um, URL link, or you can, with a lot of smartphones now, you can just click share to Facebook. But if you could just say, check this guy out and subscribe to his channel, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much if you do do that in advance, <laughs> because I haven't even done it on my own social media. I've tried to keep all my friends and family away from this, um, because I don't want to just have a channel full of friends and family that watch me all the time, and you know, like some friends and family, they want you to, they don't want to see you succeed. Not maybe family, but, you know, they might watch your videos and one day if I say, oh, no, I've lost all my money, they'll go, ha, 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 I knew I'd lose it. You know, I don't know. I just wanted to complete, the, I just wanted only cryptocurrency people through this channel. That's all I wanted. And that seems to be what I'm getting at the minute. I don't want a load of just random viewers that, that don't even know what I'm talking about. That's it, guys. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you on the next video, probably in the next day or two. Hopefully, uh, I've been saying this on every fucking video that I've done. Hopefully, Envian will be on HitBTC and I can do a live video of it being on their exchange live. But just so you know, this one literally only just went on today. So this is quite fresh. IDEX.market and then you've got the token store. Um, and uh, Hashflare, you've got a 10% referral uh, discount code. Um, someone commented on my videos, actually, again, this is saying completely off topic. Someone commented on one of my videos saying, um, and I have tried really hard to be as absolute honest and transparent as possible. I actually had a really nice message from um, a gentleman on my Facebook and he said, Glenn, thank you so much for all your transparency in this crypto space that's so valuable in this area because there's so many people chatting shit out there. Um, and I've that really, you know, like I felt very um, honoured that he said that um, because that's what I've achieved, tried to achieve to do. I want to be, I want to be someone that you can watch and say, if Glenn's saying it's good or he believes in it then you don't have to believe it I always say do your own homework and research but you believe what I say if I say look I think this is a scam hopefully you'll believe me if I say do you know what I've done my research and I don't believe this to be a scam um, then hopefully you'll feel the same as well I don't know but just I think that trust on YouTube is so important because there's so many people out there that are just trying to um, scam people uh, YouTube's a very easy way to um, promote and to referral and affiliate sales and stuff like that. And I don't want to be that guy. Um, anyway, he commented saying... Uh, he commented saying, like... This guy's here saying, Hashflare is a Ponzi scheme... 
Now, if Hashflare was a Ponzi scheme, which it still could be, it could be, um, one, they've gone a long way to make it look like they're not a Ponzi scheme, which most Ponzi schemes probably do. They've also gone a long time. Ponzi schemes tend to not last very long because eventually the money dries up or you know the, the top level tier people that receive all these affiliates or commission base. Um, obviously they make their money and they go because obviously what they're doing is illegal as we found out with like crypto nick and stuff like that um, you know like they've promoted it um, so it's my honest belief at this point in time with what I've learned and I want to say this as clear as or what, what I believe to be true um, I have no way of backing it up so this guy could be completely right I could be completely right I could be wrong he could be wrong I've been using Hashflare now for about three to four months and nothing they've done so far has led me to believe that they are in any way a Ponzi scheme. They have their faults, they've done things maybe not that good, like in terms of uh, um, like their customer feedback that you know they're putting, to, I think today they put on their social media. Um, yes, our queue, our queue time is finally down to 48 hours. Now, if you was a Ponzi scheme, why would you care what people thought of your customer service? Why? You would do your utmost to brush that all under the carpet. Um, they're posting pictures of all their hardware, which is looks like millions of pounds worth of hardware. Where would they get that from? The guy that was standing with the hardware is on. So has always been on their uh, staff page, if you like. Um, so it's not another photo that they could have docked from someone else it's them at that site with that amount of equipment they're paying people out they've been going for four years they've been paying people regularly on a daily so it's daily every day they pay people but then so did BitConnect I understand that but someone else put uh, a comment um, and this really affects me more personally as a person and as a YouTuber um, he put um, I'm not going to find it now, am I? Fucking shit. Anyway, he put, why do people bother watching these videos? The only reason this guy is doing it is for a referral links. That is completely as far from the truth as possible. Yes, I do get referral links, and I have shown people, I don't know any other YouTuber that's been as honest as I have, there you go, bam. That is what I've received since day one. I have total earnings, 0 0.04 of a Bitcoin uh, out of all everything I've earned. A lot of that has been reinvested. Here is my link. You know, that is the link that you will see down below. This is how much everyone has invested. I've worked it out to be about 10%. So I get 10% of whatever you upload, uh, deposit. I've tried to be as honest as possible, but then also um, I don't earn any money from these YouTube videos and I never joined Hashflare. If you look at my workings out, I've never had a separate column. I've never had in my mind, oh yeah, plus I'm going to get a bit of referral bonus. You know, like, yeah, I'm going to get all that referral bonus. I've never thought about that. I generally joined Hashflare and this process as you would be if you were starting today with the intention of not getting any referrals. Now, I put the link down below because obviously it's very easy for someone on YouTube to go, hey, look, here's this amazing website. Look, there's a link for it down below. Whether it's a referral or not, um, I actually put my Telegram link above my Hashflare because I, I would rather you join my Telegram group than my Hashflare account. You know, I, I, I can't stress enough that I don't really care about the referrals. I don't, it's nice because it's literally the only way I'm earning any money from doing any of these YouTube videos at the minute. So um, it is nice when I get like $10, $20, you know, in hash flare. Um, but it really isn't. That isn't what my videos are going to be about. And I'm not going to sell that sort of stuff. Um, if I honestly believed at any point, if something flagged up that I thought, do you know what, I'm not happy with hash flare. And I believe them to be a scam now. 
I would do a YouTube video about it. You would see a massive title saying, I think hash is a scam. That is what you would see from me. Um, and I can promise you that as it stands, as of today, I don't see that. And if you want to click the link, you can. If you would rather invest money in Hashflare and I don't get any of it, then please go via Google and type in Hashflare. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't give two shits either way. But if you do want to use my link, thank you very much for the support. That's my view. That's my opinion. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk about today. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. This video is going on way too long. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye.